Yeah, I told you, you <laughs> motherfucker. All right, let's start over. Let's start over. Okay, ready? <laughs> Shit. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, hello. See, I'm going to have to tie his fucking hands down. <laughs> I think you saw this before. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, there's no more of that. That's why. I, that's There we go. And Physical well, violence. <laughs> welcome to this week's Woo. edition of Nitta Be Damned. Nitta Be Damned, bitches. That's right. I'm Gregory Patrick. And I'm Philip Champlain. And uh, I'm going to have a cigarette. That's the prelude to our show. That's um, right. You know, it's our first... It's our first year wedding anniversary. It's our first wedding anniversary. Absolutely. Cheers, sweetheart. 52 weeks, the longest time in my life. Technically, it was yesterday. Yes. But we're celebrating today because we're doing our show mm -hmm. and we're doing all this and we're doing all that. And we were all busy yesterday, so yes. today after we do the show, we're going to have dinner and a movie. Absolutely. And probably some sex at time. Sexy I didn't know anything about Come this. On, baby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you tickled me. Look how cute he is with the beard. You can see his dimples. They kind of just go bam. Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, our, it's been the best year of my life, sweetheart. Has it? It has. Are you sure? I am. Okay. It has been the best. It's like I wrote in my blog earlier today. If, if these last 52 weeks are any indication of what I have for, in store for the future, I'm going to be a very happy man. Well, you know, we got 30, 40 years ahead of us. That's right. You know, yeah. God damn it. I'm only 45. <laughs> Life ain't supposed to be over yet just because I'm not married. Yeah, you know? I, I know. So. Um, but yeah. So, uh. Wait. <laughs> and get Gregory's a lot more open about things in our life than I am. Obviously, you've noticed that I'm not very on Facebook very often, and I don't share our lives like he does. Um, I'm just a little more private than that. I do love him, and we're sharing our anniversary with you, and you guys have been fucking amazing as far as your anniversary. Um, congratulations. congratulations. Or was it, it was congratulatory? Yeah. Congratulatory. Again, like, anyway. we picked the Equinox yes. to be our wedding day. Because he's, uh, he's my gang. And he's my yin. Yeah. And so we wanted to pick a day where it was equal parts light and dark, so yes. there was balance in the universe. Well, not unlike now. Where there's so I'm... much light. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, um, here we go. There was a, That's a little better. Right. Oh, and you know, and like when there, it wasn't like he got on one knee and popped the question. No, he asked there me. Was, well, and it was You asked me. Yeah, and it wasn't even like. Not very romantic Philip, at all. Philip Dolly. Not at all. I was sitting on the couch in my underwear. And I was, and he over, was here over here looking at a calendar. calendar on the computer. And he goes, you know, when should we go ahead and get married? What day do you want to get what married? What day do you want to get Pick married? A day. And I said, September 22nd. And mm -hmm. he said, why? And I said, it's the equal, It's the summer equinox. No, autumn. Autumn equinox. Everything is in balance. It should be the best day to do it. Light and dark is all taken care of. You've got your sides. Um, and there we go. Yeah. You know? We're both, we're both, you know, I've never had met anyone like him. Like, you would think that I would just not want nothing to do with this guy. But uh, most people are like Most that. people are like that. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with him. <laughs> but uh, we keep each other grounded, I think. So He's um, the only person in the world who makes me laugh. Aha. Uh -huh. But not doing anything. He can just sit there and look at me and go, what? And I'm, I'll crack up. It's just... It's, I'm doing something over it's there. It's his energy field. Right. It's just enjoying. I've got the energy of a five-year-old. Yes, he has a very pure and innocent energy field, yeah. and it's just always. There are days when we have our fights. We do. Every couple like, does. Yeah, but Every we have does. some crazy drag-out fights that are amazing because. Uh, no violence, by the no way. Violence, no violence. Because I already told each other, bitch, if you hit me, you I'm gonna once. once. <laughs> That's it. Don't believe in that special yeah. view shit. Um. Yeah. But uh, what we like about our fights is uh, the next morning when we have uh, makeup sexy time. Yeah, I always I always plan for it's it. Like like, he, it's I like I almost pick a fight. I almost pick a fight because I know the next morning he's gonna wander on in all this apologetically kind of speaking, um, yeah. and make me happy. <coughs> so he gives me the first half an hour of my day. And now then, we're sharing far too much. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the only reason I pick fights with my husband is to have sexy time. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, it, and it's it's over chilly shit. I think we fought over 
Ozark, episode one, season one. We almost got divorced over that. Absolutely. It was the funniest fucking thing I'd ever yeah. seen. Yeah, we were just on completely, our yin and a yang were like wang and wong. Yeah. yeah. We were all kinds of blah, blah. It was nasty. Yeah. So anyway, that's, that's, it's, yeah, one year, paper. It's our paper anniversary. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of floored. I, I don't usually stay places very long. And with him, I've been in the same place now for three and a half years. And I can't seem to think of anywhere else I'd rather be. So I'm grounding. I'm a grounding he's force. He's a grounding force. It's because I think I'm a Capricorn. You're Capricorns Capricorn. are always about hearth and home. Capricorn control. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. Capricorn control. Capricorn control. <laughs> Absolutely. So, we have some important news to tell you. Absolutely. Uh, I am fucking shy. Look at this. It's like I got a superpower. I'm nuclear. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was squirrel. That wasn't the announcement. That wasn't the announcement. Um, let's just go ahead and say it. Yes. Um, do you want to do it? Or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Go ahead. Um, unfortunately, and for fortunate reasons, unfortunately, we're this is our last show. This is our last, last, show. last show. Yeah. Um, on, uh, you know, we're we're getting rid of our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, it's the tune. The negativity in the background has been too much for Gregory, um, and for myself to be online anymore it's just no it, it's made it no fun for us yeah it's it's yeah. really become a very um let me put it to you this way we've never dealt with people on a very interpersonal level no, really. like we have until we started this show yeah and we started uh, we tried something new that facebook group yeah um we invited so many people into our lives yeah. on a daily, daily basis, basis in a way of communication that um, I had never had, I've never, I've never done before with. either. You know me, if you've followed me for a long time, I hide behind my blog and I don't really con connect with very many people yeah. because it's just a place to read and leave a comment, but there's no engagement. Right. Your engagement is in your writing. Yes. Yeah. And in the Facebook group, there was a lot of engagement and a lot of it got really, really nasty. Absolutely. Which, I mean, it started, what, uh, months ago when, you know, someone, in, I calling myself myself a fag somebody in my own group reports me to Facebook and yes. it has me shut down for 24 right. hours right. and then um, other incidents ensued mm -hmm. uh, and it hurt us because some of these people we we're thought some, were our we're friends were our, really our friends like there was no joke about it uh, like I, I'm not really good at making friends um, I'm good in front of a camera finally uh, yeah. so it really it broke my heart yeah, that is a, another thing that we were proud of with this whole experience was that we allowed people to come out of their shells yeah. and feel like that they were welcome in a group full of misfits. Yes. And that has been the best part of this experience. Is that we that, brought all these people together. Yes. Like all of you have become friends behind us, whether or not Gregory or I had anything to do with it. And we found that the amazing part of it, um, the, 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 uh, the background business, the stuff that we don't talk about, and have refused to talk, to discuss with anyone other than a couple of our correspondents. Um, none of you really know what we've been going through, and it's kind of sad. It really is. It really is. Um, so again, we're going to make this last end. Of the in, in a nutshell, yeah. we have been attacked attacked repeatedly by people that we thought were our friends, yeah. and they betrayed us and in a way that we had never thought possible like no. uh, it, I never we never thought no. that a pool of people would be on, in another area on Facebook another group on Facebook bashing us look again if you followed me for a long time yeah. you know I'm prone to controversy yeah. not on purpose it just <laughs> seems like there are a lot of people out there that just can't tolerate a gay male conservative knitter in this mold because it doesn't fit a mold it doesn't and fit so a mold. And, you know, knitting in a business term is a very competitive business yeah. and there's very little, you know, pieces of pie and they do their best to destroy you. I'm accustomed to people not liking me, I guess you could say, because right. um, I've always said that the more that people know you, more people will dislike you for whatever reason. Right. The problem I had this time was that these were people that we had gotten personally involved with. Absolutely. And again people that we had considered our friends who ultimately decided that for their own reasons mm -hmm. um, wanted to <laughs> destroy us. Yeah, level of the truth. Like they're, 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 it, it seems to me that there's not coming from anywhere from the, a truth side of it. Uh, 
Yeah, that's the other thing. It's, it's all side. real lies. It's all just blatant lies. And they know that they're lies. Yeah. And they don't care. No. Um, and, you know. And it's been a. And it, and it was. You saw the culling that we've had over the last couple months. That was the reason for that because we had discovered that these people who were supporting, supposed to be supporting our group, were treating us as though we were the enemy for some reason. And we had no idea that it was even happening. Yeah. Like, we were told we were the bad guys. We and had we didn't no idea why. that people that were talking to us in such a kind level and yeah. so honestly about how much they really enjoyed us and loved us had a turning, dagger in our turning around in other Facebook groups trash talking us in really nasty ways yeah. and when I found out about it of course you knew I was going to find out about it yeah, it's the internet um, you know people were sending me screenshots of their conversations and I was like I don't believe this yes. So the first thing you have to do is cut them out completely. And, and, then, say, right, and you got to understand, so right, right after we found out, these people were still talking to us still, as though we were their friends. Still yes. talking to us in our to our faces like we hadn't seen the conversation at all. Uh, so it's been it's it, like Philip said, it's it's not fun anymore. It's not, and it's because of the interpersonal engagement. Yeah. So we hate to tell y'all this, but as you, of, you uh, kicked my husband's ar uh, agoraphobia up to 10 and, we, and it was yeah. something we were working on and he was getting better at and because of you cunts he's decided to pull himself back out of society again I thank you very fucking much well I'm sorry sorry I apologize to everyone else for using that word but yeah that that has happened in the last week or so is that uh, yeah I pretty much shut communication off from pretty much everybody and I had already started to like I said, I haven't been on Ninder Dam too often. I share a thing or I say I like something. Um, and I love all of you that are there and are having a good time with it. Um, but See, I, now, we really, really do enjoy doing this yeah, show. Absolutely. Because the one thing that we love more than anything is that when we get comments like, your laughter, it's the what, two of you together laughing, right. is makes the our highlight week. of our week. Yeah. And that's the part that stings the worst is because we know that a couple of really awful, loud people are ruining it yeah. for everybody else. But we have a plan. Yeah. We're not going to discuss it until the end of the show. But Absolutely. we do have a plan. Um, but, you know, we've uh, been discussing this with our foreign correspondents uh, the last week about... Um, are you all right there? Are you getting emotional? I am. Why? Because it's, it's ridiculous. Sorry. Don't cry, sweetie. Don't cry. Man. Anyway, um, we've been discussing this with our foreign correspondents the last week uh, about closing everything up, yes. and they they understood because they saw what was going on too, and they felt terrible. Yeah. Um, so one, they all wanted to give their own kind of take on what's happening. Yeah, and their own farewells. Yes. So let's just go ahead and start with Reba Swede. Uh, Re Reba Swede? Reba Swede. She's first. Rebecca. The last one of our correspondents <laughs> to come in. Yeah, and we wish we had more episodes with, with you. With her, yeah. But, again, we have a plan. We for, do have a we plan. We do have a plan. So, uh, Rebecca in Sweden, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Thank you, Chainmail Maiden. <laughs> Hi, guys. Rebecca Sweden again. Happy anniversary! I think it's cotton, if I don't remember incorrectly. Um, at least in Sweden, it's cotton. Um, yeah, a whole year. Damn, time goes fast. Um, as a, let's call it, a parting gift to the, the show. I want to share something my grandma told me when she had spent 40 years with grandpa. She said that if you find the other piece of your soul, cherish them, love them, and before all, be honest with them. So guys, support each other, talk with each other, always be there for each other more or less. And hopefully you will have the rest of your lives together. And this is the first year of many. Um, yeah, the last episode. It was a blast for a short while I was a part of it. And it's been a joy to follow all the episodes before I started being a part of it and as well the blog I'm still gonna follow it you're not gonna get rid of me that lazily <laughs> <coughs> yeah um, Gregory 
you're an inspiration. You're awesome. Never let anyone say anything else. Um, if they do, they're just jealous or they don't actually know what they're talking about. I will always be here. You have my contact information. I would gladly be a part of any other projects you have. Um, Philip, keep on taking care of Gregory. And from one anime lover to another, <laughs> keep on watching good shows. Anyways, it was thank you and a goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see, um, we do affect people in really good ways. We do. And that's that's been our whole dilemma on not doing this for for a lot is that we do affect everyone seem in such a positive way that we enlighten everyone. You know, and you know, or light and I I enjoy this experience because if you read my blog, I tend to get very um, contemplative and serious and um, with a little flowery <laughs> a little flowery. But here, I got to be a lot more vocal and fun and this kind world. of. Yeah, a completely different side of me that yeah. just, you know, I get, it's like I, how I am with him. I get to have, I get to have fun. Yes. And I get to share it with you. Um, whew, uh, Rebecca sent me an email, um, and I didn't realize that Rebecca has been following my blog since 2013. Really? So, and out of nowhere, here she comes as one of our foreign correspondents. And as you noticed also, your videos were coming much well yes, more. Yes, and we wanted to pull more the freak out of you. So, <laughs> thank you, and you're you're. I'm glad we could be inspiring for you, and I will keep taking care of him. Yes, he's a very protective man. He's very protective of me. I think that's why I'm kind of like I'm I'm a bit more emotional than I probably should be because I've had to keep all bottled up through everything. Yeah, and I still have to. It's like. Some people have made the nicest guy in the world the maddest person in the world. Yes. You kind of broke that really good innocence about him, and you, you turned him. You turned him. I'm a little sour. Yeah, and he was never like this before. Never. Um, you got what you asked for. Yeah. And you get, you're getting what you deserve. So. So there you go. Um, oh shit! And, I've got more peanuts on the stove. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so Philip just said to me, "Man, we gotta lighten this Let's up, stuff up a little bit." You know, I, I want to leave you guys with a freaking with a with a joy in your heart yeah. and a, la a, a a curl in your smile. Yeah, you so know, I don't want to leave you guys all upset no, that we're leaving. We are gonna have fun, and yes. if y'all are still watching, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're still here, yeah. we are gonna have fun later on. Yeah. Don't you worry about it. Um, but uh, let's just go ahead and run through everybody's videos and get the sad shit out of the way, okay? All right. And they, so. and they also get to speak their mind a little uh, mm -hmm. about what what this is all about. And then we'll move on. And then we'll move on, and we'll again. have some fun time with Phil. Yes. <laughs> you know, I've, I've got them all. We'll have some because I need to. I need to lighten up myself too. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's just let's get on. Miss Chambers, Miss Chambers, 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 take it away. Take it away. Hi guys. Well, I've been dreading this uh, for a few days since I've heard. Um, this is it. Um, I simply want to say thank you. I want to say that I have enjoyed this immensely. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Um, <clears throat> if you're in my friends list on Facebook, then... You're going to stay in my friends list on Facebook until you pull something that, you know, makes me get rid of you. <clears throat> and Gregory and Philip will stay in my friends list. They are my friends. Um, to those creepers who are not in the group who are watching this video wow. and they're not in the group for obvious reasons, uh, don't think you won. You pushed it to the point that it's no longer fun, and that's why this is happening. Uh, it's a new chapter. It's time to turn the page, guys. So, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I honestly don't know what else to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for reading. Thank you for posting. <clears throat> Just thank you. And you guys... 
keep making beautiful things. Wake up tomorrow morning happy and smiling and know that this was not for nothing. The friends that we made, the true friends that we made, we're going to keep. And you guys have a great day. Bye. And we love you too. We do. Absolutely. You know. And I don't feel that this was for nothing either. No. Miss Chambers, Miss Stephanie, Stephanie Chambers, Chambers, she has been our biggest defender of all of this. And she even said to me at one point, if it comes down that we have to pick sides, I pick you guys. Remember though, we never asked that. No. And I got to say, yeah, we never asked it's anybody that, but... to pick sides. <laughs> there was nothing to pick sides did, 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 over. did any of you that jumped over the fence ever think, why isn't Gregory and Philip saying anything about any of this? Did you ever think to ask yourself and that? And we still have not named names publicly. No, nope, not going to. And no, there's no reason to. No. We thought, you know, you don't, you stabbed us in the back, we're cutting you loose, see you later, Bye. goodbye. But they had to keep stewing in it and bringing it up and then making it this viral fucking nastiness. I hope your magic no. does some good, baby, because it, when it's wrong, it's three times three, bitch. Mm-hmm. Do no harm, right? Yeah, do no harm. Yeah. We're doing no harm. No. Nope. And I have to say, we really, really don't think that they've won either. No. No. As a matter of fact, we'll explain later. Later, yes. We're just going to get so much bigger in a way that you can't touch us. Yes. In a way that will make people see if you do this, yeah. you're going to get backlash. That's right. I love your pink unicorn. Stephanie, Stephanie is working on a cookbook. Yes. It is not going to stop. No. And I have urged her to say if if you need any publicity whatsoever, I'm going to be giving her 100% of my blog towards that cookbook. Yes. And I've, I've, I've shown her, I said, you know, you can use this company for the printing. Mm -hmm. And if you have multiple contributors, they'll dole out the royalties for you. For You You don't have to worry about all that accounting. That's right. It all madness. takes care of itself. It takes care of itself. And, and you're gonna, you are gonna do just fine with this cookbook. Yes. I want her to make it like uh, Amy Sedaris's "I Like You." If any of you oh, don't really? know that oh, book, that, that's a great book. That is a fucking fun. awesome just cookbook. Fun. So that's what I want Stephanie to really focus on: is making it as fun as Amy Sedaris's cookbook. Yes. Okay. All right. So now, now yeah. we're gonna go with the UK's favorite mum, Miss French, French? Miss Carolyn, Miss Carolyn French. In Whiteley, in the UK. Did you get that monkey a tail yet? <laughs> really? For our last episode, the monkey still doesn't have a tail. Just tail down, no tail. I'll be shit. God damn it. All right. Take it away. Bye bye. Hello, crocheters. Uh, welcome to um, the last video uh, from me. Um, I think. Yeah, it's it's difficult to describe exactly how I'm feeling about this now. Um, very mixed emotions. There's um, joy and happiness and, and a great sense of fun that having taken part in this show for a little while now, I've had a ball. It's It's been hilarious from, you know, videos about Tailgate with Jimbo the monkey and my cat and my son and his crochet and watching the videos of, of everyone else and, and the boys and, and how they've really grown into this role fills me with an enormous sense of pride and satisfaction actually it's been a really good journey but there is an alter side, alternative side to that isn't there um, we have had some real I'm trying to phrase this without swearing, but it's hard. We've had some real, shall I say dross? If you don't know what that is, Google it. We've had some real dross come through this group as well. People that I thought were decent people turned out to be anything but. People that would say one thing to Gregory's face and something else behind his back. Yeah. You're not worthy of airspace, you're really not. It's just a bunch of hogwash. I, I'm trying not to swear, but it's, it's hard, trust me. Do you know what? 
you're not worthy of any more than a fleeting yeah there you go i know you're going to be watching because oh we might just talk about you oh you might just find something else to have a bitch about well yeah not gonna happen bye bye you know don't let you don't let the door hit your ass on the way out moving on to more important things wedding anniversaries happy anniversary to gregory and philip um yeah well done that's paper i believe is it the, the, the year yeah however i've made you something and it's in this little box see i decorated the box i've painted it beaded it now i keep i'm in an r and as to whether i'm gonna show you what's in here or not shall i i'll give you a little sneak sneak peek are you ready oh that's it um this is something that i intend to send out to you so i'll be um haggling after your address um but I, I it's just something for you to keep um to a celebrate a year of of being married um celebrate the love that you share together uh, because at the end of the day that will conquer through everything the fact that you two are a tight team together that's priceless other things will come and go but you know you stick together after 22 years of marriage with my hubby i think you'll find i know what i'm talking about and teamwork at the end of the day is what gets you through everything also i want you to celebrate love not hate just the hate what's that song haters gonna hate 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 i hate that song it's kind of fitting for haters really isn't it just yeah pff, you're nothing love will conquer all as they say that sounds really corny but it's true and so in this box there's a little box of love don't be disgusting it's nothing like that it's nice trust me um i've given you a little sneak peek and it's beaded because obviously that's my very first love is the beading and so i've beaded something for you in this box and i'm going to send this on its way to you so on that note i'd just like to say thank you for the opportunity of joining in with um the youtube channel i've had a really good time um the other correspondents you're awesome you're really awesome i know we're all going to keep in touch and <clears throat> with things that um stephanie and i have been talking about who knows what may happen in the future um whether the group will keep going or not i don't know but um time will tell it depends whether or not other things happen and, and that's all i'm gonna say on that so from me for now See you later. We love you, girl. Thank you. You know, uh, <clears throat> go ahead. I'm really not sure what to say. I agree. I got tons um, to say. He, she's got tons. He's got tons to say. She's got tons. He's got tons to say. Um, you're right. It's not worth our breath to give them now anything. And I don't think we have. No. Uh, you can stew all you want in your little pot of fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, okay. I'm gonna put that on a shirt. Friend That's pot right. Doing your pot of fuck. fuck. Yeah. Okay. First, I gotta say, when Caroline sent me her first video, it was the week that Trisha said that she couldn't do one, and I, I, I watched it. And I was like, I, 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 I understand Caroline's sense of humor. Absolutely. She's brilliant. Yes. And and this is this is why I've so enjoyed her because remember the episode with the panties on her head? Absolutely. Oh my God! This I knew this was a woman who was going to make us laugh. And I've told her constantly. I was like, if I could just sit in a room with you and and, and just listen to you and laugh, I would have the best day of my life. Yes. And um, she's right. We're all going to still keep in touch. Absolutely. And again, we have a plan. Yes. We have a plan. There is a plan in the background. There is. We'll get to that later. 
Um, that box, I love boxes. Well, I got a thing for boxes myself. Yeah, we both. I yeah. mean, like, I've got these cigar humidors and all these things. Yes. We love little boxes. So, despite what's inside it, we're just going to love the little box. We're like the kids at Christmas that yes. you get them this toy, and the toy comes out, and they're like, yeah, yeah whatever. The and then they play with what's the, the box? box all about? <laughs> Give them the box. But yeah. I, I, I find that wonderful. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Caroline. Because this has been a lot. I really do enjoy Caroline. doing this. You guys are so much fun. Uh, and like, they're, they're, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm kind of like, I'm tongue tied and lung locked, I guess, today. Or I've locked. never heard that one. That's a new lung one, locked. too. Lung locked. I can't, the words aren't coming to me today. So. He's, he's distraught. I'm a little distraught. He is. He's I'm, not his friendly, jovial self. Because, like I said, you bitch is broken. Yeah, but I, it's okay. I can fix it. And they only talked about me once. I mean, they only brought my name up one time. <laughs> How rude. I know, right? Like, really? That's all you got? That's what you got for me. I got my big boy pants, bitches. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I got my big boy pants. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the fact that uh, you that's how you think about people. They uh, called you like a simpleton, an idiot, and a loser. Yes. Yeah. Oh, did they? I said, I missed all that. Thanks, honey. I'm a simpleton. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. <coughs> I can't. I don't have time for it. I have to go on with with my life, um, and okay. I would never discuss that. I would never talk about people like that. I have it. I was Stephanie Chambers and Carolyn French, and Rebecca. Blah 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 blah. I apologize for that because I've been. Rebecca. Iron Maiden. Bjork. Um, Neil, <laughs> who is coming up next? Uh, we do love all of you guys. Y'all are, are are you are the ones that we really find to be our friends, yeah. and that's why we're all going to keep in touch. Yes. And we have a plan. Hmm. We, there is a plan. There is a plan. maybe from Plan Nine from Outer I mean, Space. Like I said, but it's a plan. Like Rebecca was the one that we were like, Ooh, "This is like our Pygmalion project. Let's watch this." It only took her three. It, it's taken her three <laughs> videos to yes. just. Remember the last one she pulled? She was in the chainmail, pulled out the axe. And she was like, I got this. My daddy made this. <laughs> Her first video, she was like, "Hi everybody, I crochet." Hey. The next one, she was like, "I kick, kick, kick Swedish ass." ass. <laughs> Serious shit. Swedish ass. I mean, I love fucking lumberjacks or, or and, medieval warriors. You know, like I said, and Miss Chambers has always been like our our fiercest defender. Absolutely. And Absolutely. She's like, you know, if we had a bar, she would be the bodyguard, and he would be like, "No, you bitches gotta go. go. You got to go." done with this shit. And then, you know, Caroline has been like uh, the surrogate mom to the two boys that are unruly. <laughs> are we unruly? <laughs> but secretly snickers and goes, they're just having yeah. fun. We're just having a good time. Yeah, and then Neil, uh, we, you know, I've always considered Neil one of our, our brother. A brother. Yeah, absolutely. Us. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just go ahead and y'all are going to laugh uh, because... There's always been this running joke about Neil, just two minutes. Neil, Neil. gave us a good ten minutes Today? in two different videos. Oh. Neil, two, dude. <laughs> two. But but it's our last. It's a special occasion. It's a special occasion. We're going to let it go, and you're going to love the beginning, because it really just, it, there's something metaphoric about it. So why don't okay. we just let Neil do it? Neil, Neil in Thank sunny Sulphur in the UK, <laughs> take it away. This video is just driving me insane. It keeps cutting me off and then deleting it. Uh, right, so the scarf I've done. Forget about that. I'm just going to have to weave it in and live with it. It looks shit, but there you go. Anyway, I'm going to say this quickly because I think this is going to cut me off again. But goodbye. I don't know when we're going to be vlogging again, if ever. Uh, maybe some of us will be doing it individually or as a group again in the future. I don't know. It's a natural ending. Uh, for me, anyway, because I'm kind of getting a bit too busy to be worrying about things to say. And when you've been speaking all day in front of, you know, ungrateful students, um, it gets a bit demoralising when you see some of the ungrateful stuff that gets thrown back at us through Facebook and things like that. Neil, okay, then. Hey. <laughs> um, I have a couple suggestions, actually, for your cowl that you ran out of yarn with. Make that the bottom part and then just do the rest in black. So you have a whole black cow with a purple and white border. I'm just focused on the, the video in general. Oh, it was funny. Okay, I mean, now tell me one of two things wasn't happening. One, Neil was auditioning for his own show. Oh! <laughs> or two, he really didn't want to say goodbye. He didn't. He kept going and going none and going. Of us are, none of us are relishing no. the, 
the farewell. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, he, uh, did his, he did the best he can. He just did his show. He was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing how I do it. Yeah. He didn't make a stink, which was lovely. Yes. Um, and he, he said, you know, the future is uncertain. That's right. We have a plan. We have a plan. Uh, we don't want to leave everyone behind, but no. we think this is the way we're going about it right now. Is it really working it's over. for us? It's over. Yeah. It's over. So, uh, um, we're just moving on to something. I, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Neil, there's no way ever in the world we could ever let you go. No. There's no way. No. You um, take your time with those bastard children, because <laughs> you know that's what it is. Oh, and now they're not allowed to have best friends. We saw that on the news. Oh, yes. yes. The UK has banned, about that. banned best, friends. best friends from schools now. You have to like everyone yes. equally. It's, I don't know how they're going to... Are you getting fined? Do they find the children for no, not liking everyone? No, they stick everyone? you in a room with a kid you don't like, and they're like, now, be friends. Be friends. Like him. You must like him now. Yeah, you got some strange shit going on over there right now. Yeah. We're sorry for that. Um, you can always come again. You can always come here. No, he needs to be there. You need he to needs be the, to be the voice of reason for resistance in his country to show that they... It's like somebody had said, this is now banned in Britain, this is now banned yes. in Britain. At some point, the British are going to be banned in Britain. And he needs to be the guy there telling them... No, 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 no. no. We're not going to be banned in our own country. No, no. Yeah, that's so. ridiculous. This didn't even make any sense, does it? No, it doesn't make any sense. When you say it out loud, does it make any sense? Say it out loud! Say it out loud! Does it make any sense? No. <laughs> See? It doesn't. Hey, you want playtime with Phil? Hey, would y'all like some playtime with Phil? I think we Phil? could do some playtime with Phil. Who do we hey. got? We've sent a lot of people out this week. Thankfully, after the hurricane, we've gotten everything kind of back in the flow. Yeah, they kind of screwed us up for a minute. Yeah. Oh! Oh, they're sold. They are, but you can still show them. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't want to wear them. Do I have them? <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. These are the hats I made. My okay. strange friends' hats. Okay, so here's what happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is it the front? There, there wrong way. Right. Okay, so here's what happened. This <laughs> lovely woman said, I love Philip's strange friends' hats. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to buy them, but don't send them to me. Donate them to someone who could use a smile. And so we've decided the Ronald McDonald house this is, is around, right the around the corner. So we're going to send them over there. <laughs> He's still working on a heads up a strange friend's ass hat. Yes, I am working up that. It's either ass or in his mouth. Like, this was the mouth. Yeah, I like the ass. Yeah, you really? Head up it's a strange gonna be friend's all ass. It's all going to be pink around the edges. Oh, of. it just... Oh. <laughs> you're not going to go rectum, are you? Yeah, it's going to go rectum. I mean, that's the problem I'm having, is how far do you stretch that thing out to get ahead of it? Mm. But these are fun. These yes. were a lot of fun. Yes. Um, yeah, and, you know, duck lips and... Up and that is like, here, give me this thing here. Let okay. me model it. Because right. you got it. You won't even take your head off. No, that's the joke. And this is the other. There we go. That's better. There. I'm a Muppet. Got horns. So some little kid. I'm going to do this this week. Um, is going to get a kick. <laughs> I'm a Rastafarian, baby. Get my eyes in there. Hey. Talk about headdress. That's right. Yeah, we should take these to the next headdress ball. Yes, Y'all don't know what that is. I don't either. Google it. Take Google. That's it. right. Google it. Google. The world is a Google. So anyway, yeah, these are my strange friends hat. They're, these are my first mock-ups. Um, thank you, lovely lady, for allowing me to donate them to some some kids who uh, who will enjoy them. You've got this dude. He hasn't sold oh, yet. Swampy thing hasn't sold yet. I'm a dancing swamp thing. Uh, wait, it's so awfully bright. I'm just an ugly motherfucker. Who needs a home? Please give me a home. I know I look like dirt, dead moss. I know. I know, I know, I know. But still, still, I will love you. Love you forever and ever. And I, I will always love you. He does. Hi, everybody. I'm dancing spot face. You need to open that thing back up. Well, it got dark. Well, he's they all bright. Dark, man. We look normal. There we go. <laughs> See? Look, I got some crazy head. But I love you. All right. All right. Oh, wait. We're going to partner with Gregory Patrick today for an interview on the last and final episode. Oh, wait. Sorry. The camera's over here. For the last and final episode of Knitter Be Damned, 
In its true and other glory. Mr. Patrick. Yes. We know there's been some evil bitches out there. Well, yes, mentally unstable white trash. Oh, there is quite a bit of that in this yes. country. Um, we've, we've noticed that you've really taken the high ground mm. and that you're not mentioning any names. No. Uh, we're, we're not really caring for that. We really just want you to give them hell. No. Oh, well. That's what they want. They want to fight. Are you sure about this? Yes. All right, well. The last thing you want to give your enemy is what they want. Well, I would have not thought that that was the thing. But, because my enemies, I bathe in their blood and oh. drink them okay. from goblets. And you're trying to sell this guy? Oh, right, I'm sorry. Wait, <laughs> we're having some fun. Sorry, sorry. That's, I'm, I'm uh, split personality disorder. I swear, it's much it's like the people we ran across. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Um, so, ignore all the bloodletting. Um, Just let that be your lesson. Yeah. Avoid mentally ill white trash. Yes. No more white trash. No more black trash. Just don't do that. <laughs> Which leads to an interesting question. Why does no one ever say, hey, calling someone white trash is racist? racist. Because it is. <laughs> We're going to cut all of what we just filmed, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I love flowers and little kids and give me a puppy here. And oh, I love this one. <laughs> and oh well, oh he's tasting good. He's, ah! <laughs> That's enough. Okay. That's enough. Wait, wait, wait. I'm no. So, I'm sorry. Get that Gwen damn Gwen. thing out of my face. Gwen, Gwen, I'm sorry. Quit it. I'm sorry, Gwen. Gwen. <laughs> but I'm all the way over here now. I have to scream, Mr. Gregory. I had another question. No, no. Please. The interview is over. Let's go. Okay. So here's our plan. Um, we really enjoy doing this. Yeah. It has been taxing. A little. Yes, of late. More than a little. And we felt that the best way that if we wanted to continue to do this, mm -hmm. and you continue to enjoy it, yeah. we were going to do it once a month, but we're not doing it in a Facebook group. No. We're closing that down. We don't want that interaction again. We really don't. No, we want to bring you happiness, and we want to bring you joy. We want to make you laugh. We want to make you laugh. But, wait, did I miss that? I, was that the wind? Uh, we want to make you laugh. Yeah. Um, so we've decided we're going to go once a month on Patreon. We're not going... So basically, you have to pay $2 a month to shit talk us. Yes. So. And you're not going to be able to see it. You can't hear it nope. from your friends. Nope. If you, so. if you want to watch this show, we're going to do at least one episode a month. That will be at least an hour and a half, and uh, it'll be on Patreon. Yeah. And the link is below. Um, we really like doing this. We love being involved with our foreign correspondents. So we hopefully, don't. hopefully they'll come with us. Yeah. Um, some so, of them may, some of them may not. So rather than them having to um, kind of come up with a, an episode, or a video for the episode every week, yeah. they'll at least have three weeks, four weeks to get one together. Yeah. And... Uh, and we'll also stay protected in a way because, you know, if you're going to spend two dollars a month to watch our, our videos, are you going to trash talk us? Yeah, <laughs> poorly spent money. I yeah. Mean, but even if you do trash talk us, I got your money. So. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Trash away, I suppose. <laughs> um. So um, the link to the Patreon is below. Um, we're we're really going to miss seeing most of you but like I Absolutely. said. Absolutely. Yeah, don't think this is anything, I don't want it to, to, to be a, a sad thing for anyone else. I don't want it to be, a, you know, oh we, we just got here and we just, we have 25 other videos and you can watch the breakdown of what, you can kind of put the story together but you there's can. some great episodes that we've done and. The one uh, with my mother is still my favorite. You think so? Yes. I, I enjoy the first one because it's a, it was raw. Raw like a prostitute on the corner. But like I mean, Caroline said we actually grew and we did. Everybody expanded. Everybody became more than what they were when they started. And that's what the joy of, that's why I enjoyed it. Because I was like, I'm watching these people become something they didn't think they were going to be able to become. And it's beautiful. It was really beautiful. It's been beautiful for Gregory to be able to open himself up again. Um, and then, it just, the, the, we don't want to live with that kind of negativity. No. So, and we're not going to give you the power to be negative. And in the meantime, you know, we'll still upload a video once a month. Yeah. Like I said, it's going to be an hour and a half. You can only see it through Patreon. Yes. I will tell you this. 
I know a couple of people personally, I do, mm -hmm. um, that I correspond with through email that um, if you don't have the $2 a month, be in touch with me. We'll work something out. Um, so they won't be on YouTube either. So they're only going to be on Patreon. Yeah. And um, we're hoping our foreign correspondents come with us. Yes. Uh, I mean, and in the meantime, in the, in the time that we're not doing the show, I'm going back to writing on my blog. Yes. That's where I fit. That's where I sound good. That's where I make sense. That's where my world... That's me. That's what you're good at. I, I'm, right? I'm a really good writer. Um, if, I'm, if I'm not boasting, but I really do feel <laughs> that that's where I, I, I work right. Yes. After a year of being unemployed, Philip finally got a job. Mm -hmm. He starts Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully we'll get a paycheck in three weeks. Um... And then, now that the rainy season is starting to end, we'll be able to be on the food, the food truck, listen to me, the yarn truck, the yarn truck, <laughs> the yarn truck more. And so, um, we're looking forward to, to, to doing new things and going back to familiar places and really making this... Um, I think of it as a regrounding. We're just kind of bringing, yeah. our, make, bringing everything back to table level. Uh, we're gonna work some things out take some time to do as such. And we learned an awful lot through this experience. More than I thought I yeah. would ever learn. I thought this was going to be a cake. Not everyone should be invited. No. Nope. No. Um, so, you know, that's where really what it comes down to. is It was a lesson learned. We're going to take those lessons and go do better with it. Um, we, we, I want to make people happy. I want to make... That's that's the joy of that I've done. It's the reason I make toys for a living. Is because I want to make... I want... You know, when you see me and my strange friends, you smile immediately. It's like the first thing that comes is just this big, hey, well, look at that, you know. Look at these toys this guy's making. Look how, how bright and fun they are. And that's what I want. That's the joy I got from it was to, that I knew that these people that were getting my strange friends loved them, you know. This is kind of hard. It is. It is kind of hard. It's very, this is very difficult. And I'm still going to be making them. There's not going to be as many of them. Yeah. Um. It's real. I don't know what to do. I don't know either. I guess we'll just go ahead and you say. You put the plan. We put the plan out there. Yeah, if you want to. So remember. If you want to watch our, our. I'd like to shoot for two videos. And we don't need the foreign correspondence for all of them if you guys are busy. Yeah. But um. at least one video a month in our Patreon, and then um, we'll be able to give you the laughter that you've been looking for, and sadly has been missing the last week or two, um, and sorry that this episode wasn't, but we had to be truthful and say, um, and I know a lot of you are going to say, you know, there's a lot of us out here that love you, um, we love we, you we too. love you too, we, we do, we needed to hear more from you than from them, them. And uh, this is a good way to do it. Yeah. Is to say, jump on over. We'll see y'all in three or four weeks over there. Yeah. And the, uh, the, yeah, the, the page we, is going to come down. Yeah, we can't put ourselves up in that kind of terrain anymore. Yeah. We just can't. Yeah. It's it's caused a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of um, a lot of heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Good night. And farewell. Farewell. Remember, we love you.